हेलो गाइस सो दिस इज ए कंटिन्यूस सीरीज फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड ए रेस्ट एपीआई फॉर सेविंग द इमेज सो दिस इज आवर यूआरएल सेव डाटा एंड वी हैव पास द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द पोस्टमैन एंड इन स्टूडेंट ऑब्जेक्ट वी हैव पास द I name ID is auto generated and name, address and DOB and also profile image. Okay. Uh, here uh, you can see student objects are come to this student ob uh, object all the student data and in image we have uh, taken a multi part file image has stored in this uh, file and we have processed that image we have uh, uh, we have. Uh, Uh, get that image from the uh, file dot get original file name, and from that uh, it, by calling this method we have uh, extract the uh, file name image file name from that file image file, and then we have uh, combine this file with the upload directory. So upload directory we have uh, created here like a string private public string upload directory equal to system dot get property. Uh, user directory plus src main web app images so this is the uh, directory or path where uh, our image uh, will store so you can see here in src and main web app and image so all the images are uh, stored here and then uh, files dot write write we have uh, write the image in by fetching the image file dot get bytes in that uh, with the file name and path so And then student dot set profile image. We have uh, setting the profile image uh, for uh, storing the database. Then we have uh, call the student service uh, method of this uh, student data, and we have save the student data with the image and the data. Okay. So now in this tutorial, we will create the how we can face that uh, image which we have stored in the database. So. Okay, so just uh, we are creating a handler for the fetching image. So fetching the uh, data by ID. So this is the handler uh, by which we can fetch the image by uh, ID. So public. I have created the uh, method here. Handler here public response entity. In response entity, uh, we will take the as uh, student object, uh, student. Okay. Then suppose get student by ID. So this is the method by which you can fetch the student. Just import the response entity. From the Spring framework. So here uh, we are fetching a uh, entity object with the help of ID. So we need to pass that ID here. So path variable, address path variable, and here it will accepting that ID in or ID is in ID. And in post mapping also, just input that path variable here. Address post mapping. Class student. Class we need to pass that ID here in the uh, path. Okay. This uh, ID will come from the uh, front end or postman, and it will store in this ID. Okay. Now we need to uh, face that uh, object, student object. So uh, with the help of that, our uh, service object. So the student service is the object. So student service. 
student service dot get student by id method okay so we need to create this method in the our service class so create method in service class get student by id or you can take any method number method name should be uh, logically uh, matching what is the function of this method so here with the help of that student repository object we will uh, get the student object dot find find by id okay so in this method also we need to uh, pass the id of the so we need to pass the id here in student service also should accept that id in id have we have passed that id to here okay and it returns the uh, student object optional so it return the optional or directly you can uh, get that id also uh, so student student equal to uh, find by id at get by getting this uh, student object find by id dot get so it will return the uh, student object or you can also uh, any exception also like or dot or else uh, exception also you can throw no if you or else throw Okay, so or else throw. If the student is not present, then how will uh, handle these things? By lambda expression like uh, any new resource not found exception or any exception you can throw. So this is uh, not uh, the part of this bit, uh, tutorial. Okay. So student, uh, now we got the student object. Uh, we should return this. Student object for student. Return type is student. Then we should return the student object. Return student. Okay. So simply we have uh, faced this student object by the find by id method of repository. This method is already uh, present in repository and we have returning the object to the uh, controller and it controller from controller we are um, from controller we return the object. Okay. So return response entity response entity dot ok and dot body so we need to pass the body that is the student student object we need to pass so here Will return the student object only. From service, we will get the student object. Student, student. Okay, so this student will return from here. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the ID and this is the handler for fetching the. Uh, student object uh, by the with the help of ID. Okay, so just save it and uh, run our program.
रन राना स्प्रिंग बूट अप जस्ट वेट फॉर सम टाइम इट इज लॉन्चिंग आवर प्रोग्राम ओके जस्ट गो टू दी पोस्टमैन एंड क्रिएट एर एल फॉर गेट तो फर्स्ट टेस्ट इट इज वर्किंग आर नॉट इज वी गॉट द आउटपुट नाउ क्लास वॉट इज द यू आर एल टू फेस दी डेटा हियर क्लास स्टूडेंट आई डी ओके सो आई डी सपोज आई डी इज वन एंड टेन ओके सो मेथड नॉट अलाउड मीन्स सो दिस इज दॉट दिस इज द गेट मैपिंग एक्चुअली सॉरी इट्स माई बैड सो इट इज गेट मैपिंग ओके नो इश्यू Just I, I again save and run it. Since our dev tool has installed, so automatically it will uh, run the program when we will save. So just go to postman and again send the request. Okay, so now you can uh, see we have got the data of ID one and the name, uh, address, DOB, and also got the email. Okay. and uh, we can also so this in this way we can face the uh, total whole object but we can also get the uh, image also only okay so i will create another api for uh, getting the image only okay okay so just fetching the image of a particular student okay so we'll create a entity a handler for fetching the image only or by passing if we will pass the id it will show the uh, profile image or profile pic of that particular student okay so public Uh, response entity uh, we can take it as string or resource also uh, we can use because there is special feature available in this uh, string so get profile image just import resource Spring Framework Anderson supports that. Okay, Spring Framework Core IO. Okay. So here we need to pass the um, path variable. Path variable. as in id and in mapping is at the rate get mapping if we are fetching the data it is get mapping and in get mapping uh, we can use at class sorry class student class profile image get profile image plus uh, pass the id here okay now by uh, hit this url we can get the image of a particular student so with the help of this service object so student service this way
so student survey dot get student uh, get student by id okay by calling this same method will uh, we can get the uh, whole object student object then from the student object we can set the uh, we can fetch the uh, particular image okay so path get the image from the uh, student object okay so here path image path so first we need to find the path of the image where we have stored the image in our particular folder so here images in this path we have stored our image so uh, we need to find the path of that particular image path so path image path equal to path dot get so uh, where uploaded directory and the it is the uploaded is upload directory upload directory so and where is the image the image is from student uh, object from student dot get profile pic get profile image okay this one so get profile image so now we are fetching the image from the student object here get uh, student dot get profile image and by fetching that image uh, name we are uh, try to extract the path a uh, path or directory where actually we have stored that image okay now restore restore is equal to new file system restore file handler file handler file image output okay so all the methods you can check yourself also there are many more methods that are given file system resources file system resource and we need to pass the file so file we have from where we can get, we can get the file image path from image path we get we can get the file to file converted to file okay here here fetching the image from that particular path okay. here get the image from the student object uh, then we are fetching the image from that particular path getting the image path here we are getting the image path from the student object this one fit fetching the student object from repository by id okay so first we have uh, getting the object from the id uh, then we have uh, get uh, create uh, extract the path image particular path of that image where it is stored in our directory then we are from that path we are uh, getting the particular image okay so now we can return the image but we need to uh, convert it or parse it so string content type string content type equal to files dot probe content type and we need to 
pass the image path here. Okay, so it will. Uh, this is the content type. So what, uh, which format of this image, and then we can return that image. Return response entity. Okay. Dot okay. Dot content type. And inside this content type, we you need to parse this media type. Media type dot parse media type parse media type which will parse the content type. Okay, then dot sorry dot body. So in body we need to parse that resource because inside the resource only our image will present. Throws declaration because it will uh, throw the exception. So, okay, exceptions may be thrown. So, here resource uh, file system is uh, to file. So, here we are getting the uh, image from that. Uh, here we are fetching the image from that particular path and then. Here getting the content type of image, then we are parse the image. So display or return to postman ok so here we have uh, return the image by parsing it media type but parse media type content type ok so this which whatever content type we are getting here we have parsed that content type ok so uh, this is in this way we can uh, get the image of uh, of a particular uh, student so just save it and after running just testing the postman okay so just open another tab and the url is slash students get profile image slash id okay Student get profile image ID. So in ID we will pass suppose two and send. Now only image we will get. Yes. Now you can see that we have uh, get the only image of the student uh, of ID two. And if we will write one, then also you will get the another. Uh, yes. So same image may be stored in database. So just take database. Yes. So all the student have the same image. Student service save student data uh, student dot set profile image original file name original file name file dot get original file name. okay we are saving this one part so this is the uh, handler for the uh, saving the data how we can save the data by passing the model attribute and multiple file okay and this is the uh, from ID we can get the whole of sprint object and this is the handler for fetching the uh, particular image of a particular student. We can also create handler for uh, get the all student list, list of data ok. So just I am creating here another handler for Yes, and fetching the all student 
data details okay so public so here uh, we need to um, use the list because list will uh, fetch the, all the data okay so directly you can use the list also list of you can use the response entity or directly also you can use list of student get all student data so you need to follow the naming convention also okay so this is a good habit so directly you can you uh, call the repository method or we can also use the service so student service dot get all student data okay so just you need to create this method in the service class student repository dot find all okay so it will return the uh, assigned to local variable so it will get the list of student student list just return it return student list okay in controller also we need to uh, return that list so control 2 sorry to assign to local variable l all student data okay now uh, re return all student data okay so just save it and relaunch the program and test in postman so it will uh, return the all the student data so just go to the post or oh, sorry uh, mapping we need to mention the mapping also so at the rate get mapping and the url is class student Plus all student data. Okay, so this is the URL for uh, accessing the data. Just paste here students plus all student data okay. and send it. Third argument type is not fail to convert value of type double line. Okay, all students, all student data. Uh, we are paying uh, student class all student data list of student get all student data. Student data get all student data. Get all student data. So in service class also.
service service class uh, list of student get all student data uh, list of student list and repetitive or find all and all return student list okay so just uh, our relaunch our application yes so application has started just go to the postman and I'll call it zero student plus all student data okay yes so now you can see here we have got all the data of uh, student ID two uh, three okay so whatever student present in database when three students are there so all the students have now uh, you have faced with the all the field also so this is the ID name address you will provide in okay so in this way we can uh, face a single student object or we can also face the complete student uh, data uh, or only the profile image also we can fetch or list of all students also we can fetch ok so this is uh, all about in this video tutorial and uh, next another video tutorial will make the uh, how we can store image uh, when you will pass that image from the UI so we will create a simple email, UI layer and from that UI layer we will input the data from that UI and also attach the image and how we can store that image to the database we will see in another video tutorial ok so thank you guys and if you think that you have got some uh, knowledge from this video please like share the video with your friends and please subscribe the channel by which I can motivate and I can make more and more video uh, regarding this topic okay so thank you